Well, welcome back to K Outdoors. Today I'm down here on the creek. Do a little multi-species fishing with light tackle, ultra light tackle. I'll be throwing a variety of baits probably this afternoon. I got a couple hours to fish. I've already missed a small bass right here in front of me. The weather's warmed up. These creeks, we haven't had rain in the three or four weeks, so they're clearing up I leave It rained so much during the winter, they stayed muddy. Well, something hit. Anyway, if, if I have a target species today, it's going to be a multi-species, I'm pretty sure. But if I have a target species, it's going to be red breast sunfish. Bigger one. Because I love catching them. It's such a pretty fish. And we'll just see how it goes. Got him. Now let's see what that is I'm looking at. Not a very big fish. I got four pound test Mr. Croppet line on this one. And I believe I've got a red breast. I do have a ow, red breast. He couldn't stand it. Don't, 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 don't. don't. Well, I'll show you the next one. If I can do it again. Next time I'll lip him. Uh, the current coming down is kind of going across the creek from me. This is just a slow eddy on this side. I just missed that fish while I'm talking. Until these fish will get in this slow moving water, get out of that current. Yeah, I got some darker color, a little, little bitty small inch and quarter crappie jig. Would look more like a bug. It might be better. I don't know. We'll see. That's my favorite line when I'm fishing. We'll see. That's a big red breast. He's right at the... Oh, there's one. Coming up to the surface water eating some kind of bug. That's another red breast here too. There's some in here big as my hand. That's the ones I'm wanting to get. I'm never gonna show y'all one of them. Of course, most of you probably know what a red breast sunfish is. I got this jig tied on with a loop knot also. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Gives it more of a Natural presentation to me, in my opinion, when it's in the water. A lot of bites fishing this way. So many small fish in here. Well, same spot. Uh, through one time over that way, and I got a bass. On my light, ultralight. <clears throat> That may not be a bass, it looks like a white bass. Well, I'll be. That's unexpected. What? Ow, quit. I'll take it. Yeah, that was not a part of the species list that I was expecting today. Huh. There may be more if there's one. Put you back in there. I was wanting to get on this log, but trying to get the snakes off of it to go that way before I got it there on it. See if there's any more of those in here. I've never caught just one in a spot in the creek when they're in here. I wish I'd have brought my bass rod. All these logs and stumps and a crawfish bait. Yeah, 
Yep, I believe there's some white bass in here today. Or small stripe, one. Uh -huh, quit and I'll get you off the hook. Yeah, flare your gills out and try to cut me. Yeah, these things come up in the creek to spawn, blah, 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 blah. And we are several, 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 several miles from the river. And I think this is the furthest up the creek I've caught any. But, we'll see you, buddy. Like I've said earlier, we had so much rain over the winter. I mean, more rain than we've ever had in my lifetime during that three-month period. So this creek stayed out of its bank for a long time. The water being that high, I guess he thinks there's another one. That's a bluegill, I think. No, it's a red breast. Target species. And a nice one. And we're not going to let you back in the water. We'll show you off. Here we go. Hang on. Do not, do not, do not, do not. There we go. I love the blues, turquoise colored on their nose, the orange on the tip of their tails. And that, it's obvious why they're called red breast. Of course, there's more orange than it is red. But that is a beautiful panfish. Thank you, little buddy. That's 64th ounce jig head and a tadpole colored Bobby Garland. If my hands and fingers look rough, we've been doing a lot of gardening and landscaping in the yard. Me and my wife. My hands look a little rough. I've got my rubber boots on, but I'm getting a little, I'm standing kind of in the water, but this mud is real soft and getting ever so close to the top. There's a fish. It's a pleasant surprise seeing you guys in this creek. It's fun to catch on light action. It really is. <laughs> on a tadpole color Bobby Garland. On a 164th ounce jig head with a number 8 hook. I do believe I got a red breast. Oh yeah, pretty red breast too. Hang on. That's just a beautiful fish. And he's mighty lively. Try again. Nice red breast. A bend in the creek right here and right straight across from it is a really big eddy spot. I've seen a lot of fish surfacing over there eating bugs and such. Yep. That's the best one of the day for his red breast. Put 
put you back. I'm gonna put you behind me. See if I can do it again. I think they're bedding up in there. And I'm going to show you why I think that. I can't see from here because of the shadows of the tree. Look at the belly on that fish. And I'm not sure he's eating that much. I think they've got beds and they're getting ready to lay eggs. It'll make sense. Little small red breast. He got a lot of turquoise in him. Probably what's hitting my jig every cast. I'm gonna have a hard time catching. Saying he's any bigger, but he sure is pulling a lot harder. That's a red breast. That's the kind I was after. That is exactly what I'm after. If I can get him up here, stay on. Well, hang on, I'll unbutton you. We're gonna show this fish off. That is a big, big red breast. This fin went right in my finger. Oh well. I mean, that's a big red breast. As big as my hand. That might be the biggest one I ever caught. I caught some big ones, but that might be the biggest. That's a big old fish. For the species okay go back I believe we got Mr. Bluegill this time. Or a shell cracker. Another, another one. Yep. Come here. I'm trying to be as easy as I can, but man, there's a barb on that hook. There we go. Yep, another fat pregnant female. Pretty good at juggling fish. Almost fell in the water. Fat so. The second one of those I've caught, and I've done the same thing on both of them. I've got right to the edge of the eddy and stopped it and let it sink. For whatever reason, they like to hang out over on the edge. Down deeper. We all missed that one too. I 
Now I got to drag a little bit loose. That's another big pretty red breast. Good lord, what a fish. As far as size and beauty. I think things are pretty. Let it go. Oh, you done the same thing the other one did. Yep. Pretty, 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 pretty. To me, that's the prettiest fish in Alabama. Good Lord, what a pumpkin seed. I'm talking about a big one. Pumpkin seed. That's what we call these at Red Breast. This old fella started called them out years ago first time i heard it and called them out ever since man them things are big in here big old pretty fish two good fillets off of him get back in there big boy oh get off the tree fish there we go This one's putting up a fuss, I mean. Red breast. Another big one. I ain't got so big one. But the third third one today that size oh oh come on I got something else I walked back up the bank and swapped out my Rods and got this slight jig again. Oh, that's bluegill. Not real blue, but it's what he is. Yeah, that'd be some more for the creek. <clears throat> Let's see if this little jig will help me catch a few more before I go. A little strike. Pretty fun. Yeah, they got it that time. Now he's putting up a fuss. Are you through? Uh. 
Oh, you're about the same size. There we go. Another big red breast. Got a small fish, and I believe that's gonna be the last one of the day. I'm tired, but hey, I appreciate you watching this video, spending some time on the creek with me today. You got a creek nearby where you live, and you got some light action tackle. Go catch some fish. It's not real complicated. It's actually an easy way to do it. And it's a lot of fun. It really is. But hey, I appreciate you watching today's video. And until next time, God bless.